Well, I am super honored to be joined by Julia Landauer. She is an accomplished NASCAR driver, as well as a speaker at the Tech Hub, so you get a chance to watch you talk, yeah. which is amazing. Are you excited? Thank you, I'm very excited. And this is a new topic for me, so um, I do a handful, a little bit of motivational speaking and public speaking, and so to be able to come here and kind of integrate cars and you know the tech world is really cool. And why, why is that important to you? Well, I mean, I graduated from Stanford, so having technical literacy is really important to me, and I got a Bachelor of Science, so everything about STEM and STEM education and advocacy is yeah. part of my brand and what I do, and then obviously cars and racing are what my passion are, so um, it's just really cool to bring it together and give my perspective and hopefully kind of push the audience to you know, question how, how the automotive industry is doing things and how maybe they can do things a little bit differently. Yeah, let's talk about that a bit. Uh, when it comes to uh, getting women involved in the automotive engineering world, mm -hmm. um, how are they doing and do you think they could be doing more? Yeah, I mean, it's tough getting any kind of minority group into more of the more of the main group of, of an industry. And so with women in, in automotive, I think it's it's a little tough. I mean, I think it's definitely got a culture that may or may not be inviting to women, but I think for me, it's always been the more you can ground like how you judge yourself and how you judge others in performance and in knowledge and in what they're able to bring to the table, I think the more we're able to, you know, kind of cut back some of the negativity. And honestly, diverse experiences and diverse perspectives really help drive innovation. And so I think I think we're seeing a difference. I know in racing, we're seeing more women who are lead engineers on cars, who are mechanics. And so I'm excited to kind of make these women more visible mm -hmm. and then hopefully help encourage little girls to want to go into the automotive industry. Well, and it's certainly a personal cause for you. Uh, what has been your experience with that? Well, with me, as being the driver in racing, it's kind of a different experience, right? Because I am like the star of the show in a sense. But I have found that, you know, just getting people to take me seriously has sometimes been a bit of an issue. And I think that's kind of a universal uh, <laughs> obstacle that maybe women and even minorities face. And so trying to figure out how to earn respect and how to show, okay, I know what I'm doing. I take this seriously. I'm going to work really hard and I hope that you'll work hard with me. That's kind of the, the, the image I try to project. And it's very authentic and it's just what I try to do. And it, it works. I haven't had that tough of a time. And I think, again, when people see that I'm here working just as hard, if not harder than they are, they appreciate that. Absolutely, and I'm sure a lot of people will be looking forward to your speeches. Um, now, as an accomplished NASCAR driver, Stanford graduate, you certainly have a lot to be proud of. Yes. What are the things that stand out to you as being moments that you'll never forget? I think uh, the two biggest ones are my two championships that I've gotten. When I was 14, I won the Skip Barber Racing Series Championship. I was the first and youngest woman to do that. And then in 2015, I won my first NASCAR championship for a, a track championship that I was racing for. So that's just so great. And, um, you know, to show that, you know, all of our hard work is, work, is, is working and that women can do it too. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, graduating from Stanford was no small feat. And um, being able to really then get creative in applying what I learned at school to my career and to the automotive industry has been really exciting. So it's just, it's been a really cool process since then. Well, I think being proud of your accomplishments and talking about them is part of women kind of taking their place in, in these industries, right? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. And I think, you know, we're, we should all toot our own horn if, if we earned it, right? If we've done cool stuff, if we've worked hard and we're proud of it, we should let the world know and we should let our friends know. And I think that building that kind of community of being proud of other people as well is really good, whether or not you're a man or a woman or, you know, it doesn't Absolutely. really matter. Thank you, Julia Landauer, Thank you so much. for joining me. Best of luck with everything. Thank you. <laughs>